All countries are facing the same crisis, COVID-19. The stock market plummeted this morning. They are the latest victim of the virus. Slow the spread. Lockdown, quarantine, closing business, closing borders, and so much more. But what is the libertarian view over this whole quarantine crisis? The massive power that governments are enjoying in today's world does not make them more eligible to solve big crises. Many experts pointed out the fact that equipping governments with more power only makes them more sluggish. So what do we have then? People can impose risks on other people. Um, And uh, this is is known as a negative externality among economists. Uh, When you impose a cost on other people, that you don't have to pay them for it. So in the current situation, you can impose a risk on other people of getting the coronavirus disease uh, just by going about your normal daily activities. All restrictions on individual liberties are government interventions, so all libertarians should be opposing all the measures right now, right? Actually, no. Most libertarians think the actions of the state are not legitimate, as the state is the embodiment of coercion. But the moral questions aside, we also recognize that we live in a world where governments already exist. We know it's not ideal. Our best case scenario would be when the governments do not exist at all and individuals live in their communities happily ever after. Unfortunately, it's not the case. But that should give you the clue. How effective is it to suggest an ideal solution to a non-ideal situation? So, like any sensible policy, a libertarian pandemic policy should also take the actual situation into consideration and make the most out of it for enhancing, protecting individual liberties. How does it look like then? Most libertarians came to an agreement that this is a collective problem. Some of us might be immune to the virus by now, but none of us are immune to this problem of a global pandemic meltdown. So this will be solved by a collective response as well, the question is then, who will implement this response? First, I'm going to start with like what a minimal state libertarian should say, because most libertarians are minimal state libertarians, right? So this is a view according to which uh, the legitimate functions of the government are, are basically protecting people from other people, protecting people from force and fraud by other people in particular. Uh, and that includes protecting people from Uh, centrally includes protecting people from physical harm. For example, if I like to go outside and uh, shoot my gun off in in directions, um, and I live in a city, you know, somebody should stop me from doing that. If you have the coronavirus, then you have a similar situation. And you don't know whether you have it, so you're, you're creating a risk, right? If you breathe out, you know, too close to another person, you're sending a harmful physical object on the trajectory where it will interact with the other person's body, and cause physical harm to them. So it would be within the purview of the minimal state to try to prevent people from causing excessive risks of that kind. There are still ongoing debates about whether governments should impose lockdowns to ensure the collective response on an international scale. Both sides have a compelling case for their argument, but for us, the most important aspect is the checks and balances for the government authorities because even in the case of voluntary lockdowns, governments are jacking up their executive powers through different means. We should first and foremost make sure that governments will not be drunk with power after the pandemic is gone. Another aspect of this lockdown is individual responsibilities. The question of what you can do, or the question of what you should do, from a libertarian perspective. What individuals should do, obviously, is try to minimize the risk that they're imposing on other people within reason. What we're seeing is that governments are on a very fine line, attempting to balance public health benefits with the potential economic costs of the pandemic and balance our individual freedoms with public restrictions for our own good. Both sides have pros and cons, as we all see in many public debates. The answer, once again, lies somewhere in between and outside of the extremes. It is now a fact that if we as individuals do not step up to the responsibility, governments are ready to expand their rules and take up the power. 
So it is crucial that each individual take up their responsibilities towards the rest of society. We should be our own rule makers right now. We should be practicing social distancing as much as humanly possible. We should be wearing masks in public spaces and minimizing our physical interaction with others. We should consider others' risks while taking risks ourselves. This way, we can take responsibility from governments and back to society, how it's supposed to be. You asked, um, is there a role for the state, you know, as an anarchist, like what, what I think as an anarchist. Um, the libertarian anarchist view is, of course, not that the functions of the minimal state should be completely eliminated, it's that they should be privatized, right? So whatever, whatever minimal state libertarians think that the state should do, anarchists like myself think someone should do it. Just, it just shouldn't be a coercive monopoly organization like the state, it should be done by competing private organizations. We have seen in the past months that around the globe there is one common solution that works in every setting, markets. Our economy depends on markets everywhere. And when we allow business owners to come up with innovative ways to keep their businesses open, we are allowing better solutions to arise. Libertarianism is not a branch of the medical profession. In fact, none of the ideologies are. So our reaction should reflect our principles in light of the most updated information about the ongoing pandemic. I mean, I think there's a fair chance that the things that we're doing are more harmful than the problem. I think there's a fair chance that our response is going to turn out to be more harmful um, because, you know, it's like it's already costing trillions of dollars. I mean, there's trillions of dollars being spent by the government, but there's like trillions of dollars in lost productivity. And we don't know how much longer this is going to go on. And then, and like eventually we're going to have to reopen. And then the virus is just going to spread like it would have at the beginning. So, I mean, you, you wonder if we're like sustaining this multi-trillion dollar cost um, to accomplish nothing, right? And then we're just going to have the same spread later. Government mandates are often slow and ineffective. They have almost always the one-size-fits-all approach. Markets are the opposite. They are quick, dynamic, and can shift their shape to the local conditions.